Welcome, welcome, eSports 2022. We're in the winter season, and uh, today joining me uh, is, uh, excuse me one second while I read who's here, Sam, and we have Steno <laughs> also joining me for commentating. Uh, this has been, uh, you know, not long after the summer one, so uh, the prelims have started, the teams are warmed up and already playing. Who we got on the teams, guys? Hey, uh, how are you doing, Kelly? It was a long time since I like the last uh, commentator game with you. Um, but here we are again. We're going to be commentating on this one. So today, guys, we have uh, the second match for today. It's going to be XTB versus Renaissance. And uh, we have Steno is going to be introducing uh, one of the teams. Go ahead, Steno. Yeah, sure. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to do my best with your names. For XTB, we got Mr. Banana, Tiki Oku, Forest V, DJ Back, and Oh No Juicy. <laughs> you saw, we could go ahead and uh, mention the other team. Yeah, well, uh, we I, I think we you mixed up. Maybe it's uh, Renaissance. You just uh, you just introduced Renaissance. I'm gonna be doing the XTB one. Uh, it's okay. Uh, well, we have. Uh, our famous couple, uh, Metro Moscova and Mrs. Metro Moscova. We have Bidwin and Ruya. Also, we have C uh, C A as C A to make it short because I cannot actually um, uh, basically pronounce that name. It's a Russian name, and uh, I struggle with that names. So anyway, uh, the game just started, and it seems like uh, right now it's zero zero, and uh, two minutes have passed uh, through the game. Ovo drives meeting each other in the sky right now, and just blowing off. Just so we know, it's not the winter things. It's called um, major rankings one. This is what we're watching. This is what we're participating in right now. And the two airs are just uh, smashed balls in the middle there. And, yeah, looking pretty tough to cap for both teams. But it's nice to see Magnum being used by Rhea in defence. OD's being activated. And support by Mr. Banana. And they're going away, but uh, OD by uh, Bedouin. Bedouin, yeah. Bedouin. I mean, like... I, I I don't know, but you know, whenever you say Mr. Banana, it's a really it's a really unique name to be honest. I have never uh, seen someone called Mr. Banana before, but uh, yeah, I can say it's a unique name. Well, banana is a, a happy fruit, so I think happy. it's always going to bring a smile to people's faces. I mean, like we have you here, our fruit expert. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
<laughs> anyway, so, like, uh, back, to, yeah, back to the game instead of my fruit uh, addiction. Um, yeah. So right now, uh, Titiku, yeah, I can't say any of these names. Um, trying to <laughs> Titiku, we need training on the names. That's what we need. Yeah, I think it's just like uh, make it uh, CJ instead. Uh, yeah, just C J and C A basically makes it easier for both of us to uh, pronounce it and just go ahead with the names. So oh, he anyway, in the middle uh, K J was trying to get it. Oh, nice one! That was a well timed O D. Mister Madonna, uh in the middle, trying to take out the threat that pushing through the center. By the way, uh, what do you guys think? Like, I have not seen those teams play together before. Uh, have any of you seen any of them play? Because it's my first time to see any of those teams appear in the esports. Maybe they played to before I actually came back. Uh, but what do you think? Like, are they are they um, like teams that participated before? I've not seen these guys, but one thing I am noticing. Um on this uh actual team on both teams there's a lot of uh, the gauze has started to be used uh i didn't see that a lot in summer majors gauze was generally not uh touched but um that's something that i think more teams are uh, starting to use because it is a powerful turret from a distance well, I do think so, but we have seen Gauss, I remember. We have seen Gauss on Summer Major. It was, uh, I remember 6am played Gauss with uh, specifically a player called Stay. He used to play mm -hmm. Gauss on Hunter and mm -hmm. Gauss on uh, Dictator. And other players also from other teams used to play. And moving back to what we were saying, what do you think, Steno, uh, about both of those teams? Have you seen them before? Have you played against them before? Um, most of these players are pretty new faces to me, but uh, I like how XDB have been playing. I think they've been controlling the map really well. They've been pretty aggressive. We say we see Thea pulling the flag here. Yeah, it's so close, but not able to bring it out. We know that this map is Highland, and it's sometimes a little difficult to pull that flag all the way through. But they have been some good pushes, and uh, we'll see some. I think we'll see a flag by the end of this game. Any predictions which team you think is going to pull it? Uh, I think it's XTB. Yeah, I'm going for XTB as well, man. Uh, I got to, uh, you know, I got to cheer up for uh, the Metro Moscovas, you know? They're my friends. <laughs> right. And well, they're I'm doing gonna, I'm going to go yeah. for Mr. Banana. Mr. Banana is going to be the one that caps. I'm actually being specific <laughs> on them. On the person, do we have a bit of a lag right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That? that was intense. so unfortunate for your boy, Mr. Banana. He uses overdrive yeah. right before yeah. that. <laughs> Unlucky, we've got a pull on the other side, though. OD oh. has just been wasted, uh, by that pull. Uh, 4SB managed to foil that. Viking Hammer. And... Coming through with his OD, but that was stops again. Managing to take out no one with that OD. We see CA going all the way here. CJ does spot him, but it's going to be a little difficult for him to focus. The rest of the team does spawn in. Ruya is going to mm -hmm. come in there. He has his Hunter Overdrive, but not enough support, I don't think. CJ going to oh, send down his Ares Overdrive. Poor is yeah, taking it. Yeah. Managing to get the OD there. 4SB. Right now, there's no pushes uh, that being successful. Not much time left. We've got two minutes twenty uh, on the clock. Um, so I'm going to predict a zero zero. Two minutes. I mean, like I think that uh, for me, maybe uh, XTB gonna snatch a flag, but it looks to me as well that. Uh the that uh renaissance are actually doing really great in the defense uh, especially their uh their shaft player on the top of the hill he's doing mm -hmm. great and you see the mining there there are three mines on the ground waiting for anyone to step on them what about you steno yeah i feel like xtb have been a little more aggressive we see renaissance pulling that flag there 
stuck on the hill, able to return, but uh, they should be able to put good pressure here. Renaissance on respawn. CA is gonna go from up top. We got a pull on the other side. Yeah, he has the overdrive as well. And he, he's, I think we might have a cap. I take back the zero zero. Oh, oh, the overdrive. Oh. The overdrive lands, but the flag it's is banana. still there. It's a banana. Oh, he missed the flag. It's in an awkward spot. He's got it. But he's being changed down. Can they get it? Uh, did I say it? I did say Mr. Banana. Yeah, he anyway. did manage to actually snatch that flag. Wow. Okay. So, it's going to be hard for them. But there's a minute left. Anything's possible on this kind of map. Yeah, it is. But... XTB oh, looking no. like they've used up most of their resources. Not many OD, ODs from them. SV just uses Hunter Overdrive. Two players in their base that are both one shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 35 seconds left. Yeah, and we know how annoying Renaissance are with their defense. I think this round mm -hmm. is going to go towards, uh, towards them. Well played. Last minute uh, cap. OD being sent through. Uh, that's giving some nice support, taking out one player, I think. And, oh, could we see a second? 12 seconds left on it. I'm not sure they're going to be able to make it back. But this is a nice pull. You see some nice teamwork there, getting uh, stuck on that tunnel. But, our oh, bridge, uh, doorway. There we go. One flag, one flag is enough. And now we'll have to wait for the next uh, map to be used. Just to see what's going on here. Yeah, so that first round will go to the Renaissance. We have a second round here um, in Highland. Uh, if they tie, they'll be able to take this map, but XTB can contest it by taking a win here before we move on to our second map, which would be uh, Sandal. Nice. I feel like that match was very close, though. Um, I could almost say that it could have gone either way, but it was a good pull from them. Uh, I think they're still in competition. This map mm -hmm. can, or this round can be won by either side. Indeed, no, it's it's um it's a tough map, but to see just only one flag being caught showed the the, the difficulty and the, the strength of both teams basically uh, in defence. Uh, I think that was the key really is the defence. You mentioned it that their shaft uh, player uh, C J back. Uh, he was very good, very uh, versatile. He was uh, helping people up front but also making sure that the flag was uh, not being pulled so uh respect to him yeah i feel like the shafts in this map have a pretty big role to play in highland because they're both mm -hmm. offensive and defensive they got to make sure they know what's going on they can't let a player slip by and i feel like both of these players have been doing a pretty good job at it mm -hmm. indeed yeah especially because the, um, they got those high raises on uh well the two on each side of uh each side of the map which uh, gives real good opportunity uh, but as you see right now uh metro Mavaca, there's another little spot that's nice to uh drop onto as well that little garage uh electrical box where it is the od's dropping but nobody's gonna be able to get it we'll Here see we a go. race to the over d yeah we'll see a, we're gonna be seeing a race uh, who responds uh, first? And I think ooh. is gonna be secured by uh, oh no, Juicy. He does actually secure it, and uh, it's for the Paladin, uh, Paladin Tesla. There, mm -hmm. it seems like uh, Raiwa actually, uh, supported by Pedwin. They're going on, also, CA is going with them. They're going as a three man stack. The flag is being pulled behind in their uh, base, but still, they're mm -hmm. gonna keep going with it. Pedwin doing a great job uh, up there. He is gonna be taking the flag again. I don't think that uh, CJ is gonna return. Yes, they take Pedwin out. It's looking uh, like a very aggressive first minute here. Both teams wanting to get that advantage. 
Oh, uh, no juice, he's uh, on top using his Tesla to kind of cause a little bit of trouble for people advancing and managing to take out Bedouin. Uh, Mr. Banana coming through the middle, but being spotted by Metro Vasca and also his, uh, his lady up top. As balls being sent through the middle, but a little too late for support. Yeah, I was gonna say Banana needs to uh, stop kind of pushing in there alone because it's not really working. But his mm -hmm. team did to provide him really good support there, and he kind of created an opportunity. If the Metro Visca didn't have uh, her o OD, that might have been a pull for them. Like Steno is saying, uh, a wise man once said. That's ex uh, basically Esmail. He just said uh, that uh, doing a, a loan pushes. It's all. It's gonna be really hard uh, to do like uh, a flag capture or a flag loan because uh, you're just putting your yourself and your team in a bad situation uh, of uh, risking to just make uh, the it enemy is gonna make a counter attack. Yes, and that's the cap for uh, for team uh, XTB. First cap of the sorry to. I just got excited there. That was a beautiful uh, teamwork. Uh, back to what you were saying, though. Yeah. So I was saying, like, it it could make you get into a bad situation, you and your team, uh, because you're risking uh, at the f at the st uh, like we can start off with risking uh, your team to be uh, counter pushed, or there is something like um, if you die, you give the enemy team a window to actually make a. A push to the flag and they might capture that flag because just one wrong move from you and we have also seen it before like i have seen it in uh summer major a lot like some players just went randomly going on alone and suddenly their team is struggling because that player went on alone and just um just wasted the overdrive and he, he could have used it in uh, something more useful than just going alone and dying with it even though they, they didn't get even to use it. They just died before using it. Well, I think the, because people are used to playing in matchmaking and when you come to eSports, it's a very different strategy. And, you know, there is the team element that sometimes just is not realized. Oh, uh, number juicy has the flag, but flipped. Uh, that's an unfortunate uh, attempt. But yeah, there is a, definitely a strategy as a team when to use the OD to, to communicate with each other and at least have another person, minimum one extra person with you to support in case you do get killed and that way they can catch the flag and escape, but also to uh, fend off any possible threats of the person who's actually pulling. Yep. Right well, now, this, yep. Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing that you're going to say and uh, keep on going. Actually, no, I was just, the, the flag was um, what a strategy that a lot, a lot of teams don't use, but they uh, they are, XTB, is if somebody pulls a flag up onto a top area, don't return it because it's going to be harder for them to come and collect that flag. That was uh, I was just going to go on to that strategy about flags return being returned or not. Yeah, but what, Renaissance what? did have some good opportunities, I feel like, where they could have pulled that flag, but they just didn't manage to fall through with it. If Juicy was able to take the, uh, take out the shaft and take down the flag through that hill, that would have been a really good pull from them. They have five minutes there, one flag down, so uh, let's see what they can do. Maybe if they can come back. We see 4SV, he has his Hunter Overdrive. He might be able to pull this flag to his team, but decides not to use it, so... We're still mm. at a standstill. Yeah, that was a strange... Uh, because he, as you were just talking about, he'd gone up on his own. Um, oh, a think... lot of... Did you see that? A lot of life yeah. from Ryo. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can keep, you can uh, go on and say what you were going to say. I'm sorry for cutting. It's all right. It's basically just uh, we saw somebody going on their own. Like, again, they've just done the same... Uh, ah, there's it's being used. Nice OD. Yeah. Three people there being blocked by Mr. Banana. Ryo, Raya has got it. But I think we have an equalizer unless there's a there's OD coming through the middle. And there's nothing there to prevent that. 1 1. 
Yes, the equalizer, 4 minutes, 15 seconds left from uh, the game's time. And uh, that's going to be the end of the second round if uh, the timer hits zero. So uh, for the next round, this is this the first round and second round were being played on Highland. The the next uh, two rounds are going to be played in Sandor. Yeah, that's a good map. Um, it's, um, yeah, it's can be a little um, quick. Uh, if I'm remembering which one's Sandor, hang on. I'm having an image in my mind, but I'm not quite sure. Describe it to me. Uh, well, it's that map that has two ramps on uh, each of the, each side of the map. It's basically some kind of a mirror map. Uh, ah, I see it. I'm doing it now. Yeah, I can see which one it is. And there is a mid passage, and there is something mm -hmm. like a big ramp at the, at that mid passage going up to the right side. Mm -hmm. And there oh, is yeah. also a red house and a red tower in the mid. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Meanwhile. And this can't no, be there's a flag. Yeah. Uh, and two one. Two one for uh team uh XTB right now. It seems like they're getting back to the game uh, using the advantage of that side. Indeed. But it's uh I think I see three stars on the other team, Renaissance going through. He's gotta make sure he doesn't flip. Not even having a chance to flip, he was taken out by Bedwin. Nicely done. Mr. Banana trying to Regain it, but that's uh, that's that strategy of flag. Leave it until the last minute and bam, return it. So that was well done by a Bedouin. He's now pushing it's, through. It seems like there is an issue with one of the players from XTB. Ryo was just left the game and uh, I see that uh, Zonic just joined instead of him at the moment. Flag is being pulled. Banana with oh, yeah. the overdrive. Oh, oh. oh, I think this is going to be an equalizer. Unless, um, in fact, there's nobody got a, a name on uh, an old juicy uh, right now. And there we go, 2-2. Two, two. two minutes yeah. left. I think the, the, that the reason of this flag capture was basically that uh, one of the players from XTB just left the game in the middle. And Zonic just joined instead of him. That could have been maybe, uh, it's happened a few times uh, to all of us, is that there's no um, damage being caused by your turret. Yeah. Well, he was. He was just uh, stuck into the wall and just turning his turret. So basically, that's just just a hundred percent major lag to him. He got oh, yeah. uh, disconnected. Mm -hmm. So it right. seems like Mrs. Metromiskova is just there with the shaft. She her patience ran out and she just shot the took her shot and didn't hit anyone. And the Tukuku just uh, basically flipped there on the middle of the map near blue base. And mm -hmm. still, it's 2-2 two to two right now, 1 minute 10 seconds left on the clock of the map right now. And, uh, I don't know, it seems like right now it's pretty much even. Uh, maybe Team XTB can pull it off right now, two people attacking from their side. I think CA just went in the wrong direction. He should have went Ooh. on the Sonic. Ooh, this, this could be it. Can they, they get the return? The return that was uh, no really more. needed. Yep. Bedwin. Uh, oh, that's a nice OD being sent through. Can they use oh, that? Yeah, yeah. This is it. it this is helpful. Helpful. respawning happening. Uh, but Bedwin is going to try and prevent this. But 4SV is heading through. Oh, 25 seconds left. He got is going to cap it. I'm sure. Behind. This is it. And he's got the health oh, kit. The overdrive. Up. Oh, mm. but he missed. Oh, my God. 14 seconds. Yes, and, got and it lands. Wow, that's two uh, two matches for uh, Renaissance. Yeah, second round goes for Renaissance right now. Well played, well played. Okay, so we're switching to which map? Uh, you said Sandal, I think is yeah, where we're going. We're gonna go to Sandal right now. Play two more rounds because it's best of four. What do you think about the last round, Stano? What 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 are, what are your comments on it? I feel like XTB really played that very well. Uh, they had some really good opportunities. There was a time where Metro Mosca just dodged the uh, the all of 
the enemy's opponents, all three of them, were at the bottom and he was at the top of the hill, but he decided to jump down and his teammates were not there to support him. They had some good uh, opportunities to pull that flag, but unfortunately they weren't able to and Renaissance were just able to capture that flag and take that round away from them. Oh, I do agree with the same thing that you just said, but we are still going to have two more rounds to see what's going to happen um, in those rounds. We Maybe we can see that XTB can come back from that. I feel like the second round was really unfortunate for them since one of the players just lagged out and that caused them to lose that round, to be honest. Uh, if that hadn't happened, it would have uh, been a huge difference in the, that score. Yeah, that's it's true, but that is part of the game, and you know, using the lag to an advantage um, is something that is done, um, and that yeah. But it's true. It's like it could have it could have changed it, but it, it is part of the game. If you get what I'm saying. Yep, I do. Right. So, do we have the link? Yeah, we do have the link and the players are joining right now. Okay. I feel like the style that they play in Highland can be kind of copied into Sandal. I feel like it's a little bit similar even though they are different. Maybe that's the reason why both these teams chose these maps. We know that Shaft has a big role here as well. We will probably see uh, Mrs. Metro Mosca playing at the top of the hill while the other Shaft is also just playing their hill, trying to be defensive, trying to destroy the pushes coming in for their flag. So we'll see that battle happening in this map. I'll still, still need the player to join first so we can start uh, start this two last two rounds in today's matches. Uh, by the way, are we going to be having any matches tomorrow? I think it's Thursday, isn't it? Yeah. Tomorrow is going to be uh, Tuesday, I think. Yeah. Let uh, me let me make a quick check of uh, what was going to happen tomorrow. Uh, well, seems like all of the matches right now that's going to be on the website is going on today. Nothing, no more information given out about uh, the match tomorrow or something. But I think that I just got some info that the next matches are gonna be at the twenty fifth of uh, of this uh, of this month. So yeah. All right, are we off? Game is on. Yep. Yeah. Well, what are your expectations for the um, for the next two rounds? Do you think that um, that actually XTB gonna gonna come back out of this? Depends on the training. Uh, if they've done a lot of training on, on this map, it does make a difference. Um, uh, personally, uh, I've started a little bit of uh, esports training, and this is a, it's a tough map. Especially because uh, you, you need to have a really good shaft player on the high level, um, and there's little corners uh, that can be, you know, really good for sniping uh, people that are pulling. Uh, so it depends. I think who's the better shaft player, and I think that a Renaissance uh, have the better shaft player. To be honest, um, so far is proving. And also the airs OD, uh, there's a way of sending it through all the way to the back of the other, the other side of the map, and that it all depends on how how that's used or if it's misused. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think again, it's just a question of who's got the the better shaft player. Makes I mean, it's not all based on that, but it does really do make a difference, uh, in my opinion. What do you think, uh, Sam? Well, I see that there is a, a Magnum here, and we have seen how strong a Magnum can be in uh, mm -hmm. in any game, to be honest. So, I mean, like, right now, Raiwa 
from uh, Team XTB is going to play with the secret weapon that's going to be Magnum. And the overdrive actually gets secured by XTB as well. So uh, maybe they can kick off a really strong start right now. Uh -huh. Well, I think okay. that maybe they can uh, make the score in their favor in this one. What about you, Stano? Yeah, I feel like uh, the Sandal map is a little more tougher, as Kelly said. Uh, I do see the Magnum. I feel like if that's played properly, it could be helpful. But uh, I think I'm liking uh, Team Res uh, Resonance strategy a little bit more. I feel like they'll be a little more aggressive. Um, I want to see what they can do. Yeah, I think um, Raya, Raya with the Magnum, I think he used that in the first uh, round that we had as well, and then switched to Rico uh, in the second uh, round. So, and wasn't ineffective. So let's see uh, what's happening right now. He's, he's just, is there a lot? I think he's lagging. He's just uh, spinning his uh, turret right now. Yeah, he had yeah. that same issue last round, Ooh. and uh, it seems like he is having it again. Maybe they have to replace him. Zonic, we uh, see that Zonic actually joined the map, but we're waiting for Raiwa to just uh, leave the map right now. Okay, yeah, I see Zonic playing right now with uh, Striker okay. Hunter. That was nice to see KJ coming forward. He knew his teammate was in trouble. Must have well communicated that. Uh, Managing, oh, he's being hit by Zonic and taken out. Going to get the return, I feel, unless... Yeah, no, they did was... manage to get it. They did manage yeah. to get it. That was really good. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was doing there. He needed to go and capture that flag, but he was kind of just staying in that same spot. Maybe the shaft was taking a look at him, but his team mm -hmm. not able to support him. They brought that flag all the way, but now it's reset back to 0-0. Zero, zero. No flags being pulled in. We see them push up. We see Xa 4SV. He has his overdrive. He's a little scared of that shaft, and that shaft will take him out. That, that push is done for. Yeah, it seems like... Yeah, sorry, yeah. Metro Moskova used overdrive and took out two players right now. Mm -hmm. Talking about Mrs. Uh, Metro Skovia, uh, I like the way she's using the shaft on this uh, this map. Uh, sometimes you know, they keep up close where, it, where, where both shafts are, but she's getting a really good aim when she pushes back where the, the repair, not the repair kit, but the double armor kit is. It's really good to stop anybody uh, coming who's actually grabbing the flag. Gives you a better better aim, uh, which prevents that flag being pulled. She's done that twice now, and it's uh, really well done. Oh, OD by Forest V with an OD through the middle. This is if they don't get a flag with this, there's uh, something wrong. Yeah, they are. They will manage to do so right now, yeah. and it's one zero for uh, Renaissance. At the moment, and by the way, it it seems like um, the mentality of Team XTB just went down after mm -hmm. what happened with their player uh, Raiwa. But since Zonic just joined uh, to replace him there, but mm -hmm. still, uh, it seems like both uh, like um, the players right now are playing with a really low mental, and uh, it it's noticeable since the last round actually in Highland. Uh, they were not playing that well like they used to play in the first round. It was uh, it was pretty much even in the first round, but since the lag started to happen, it uh, it they they just dropped to another level. Yeah, um, well, Zon is it Zonic who's uh, taking place? Yeah, it's uh, as a reserve. Sometimes you don't practice as much with the team, um, but it's true having a one player that you're used to playing with. Uh, with good uh, server, without lag, is uh, a little frustrating for them. But I want to talk about Renaissance's use of ODs. Um, using the Hunter OD as they were going in from the flag, as OD being used at the same time for that support through the middle. I, these guys have practiced and have good communication on when to use the ODs and not to use them. So they really held out for that right moment. It was a beautiful... Uh, it was a beautiful cap, to be honest. It was just everything was perfect. It was one of those caps that you'd, you know you dream about. That's how it'd be. Yeah. OD box is dropping. He's gonna grab that. Oh, Ukraine, my home. Uh, 
new player as well. They, they, I didn't see him in the other matches. And, uh, yeah, Renaissance also having a new player that's joined them in this uh, this round. Yeah, I agree with you. I feel like Resonance are the better team here, though I, I like their use of overdrives, as you said. I've seen XTB kind of waste a few of their overdrives, some of their more important ones, like the Viking and the Eris overdrive. I feel like Resonance are playing a little bit better together. They have a couple overdrives they're pushing in now. Juicy's going to use his. SV has his OD as well, as uh, along with Banana. Banana's going to use that, take out the Shaft. Behind him is Bidium, but Bidium will deal damage and he, uh, Banana will just shoot the wall and kill himself there. Mm -hmm. That was uh, almost a pull for XTB, but uh, the respawning of... Um, I can't remember who's using Rickle, but he's the one who prevented the pull. Oh, oh no, Juicy. Still a good two flag lead for them. SV is going to pull this flag again. Oh, that's a nice shot from Metroviska. Can He's Juicy still get this uh, though? Yes. Yeah, that's a shame. He couldn't have used that that uh, dead tank to actually uh, give him some uh, cover. But yeah. OD box is dropping. Who's going to grab it? Three against four. No, three against one. And uh, yeah, XTB have got the OD. And respawning a banana and four SV going together, not being spotted yet. Now, now they're being spotted, but there's a third uh, support by Ono oh Juicy. Ooh. Oh, flip. but nice self, self right in there by banana. There's uh, the shaft. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was oh, now this is it. Who's gonna get there first? Can they get the, the red flag? It's return oh, yeah. and you see the paladin has the uh, blue flag right now and it's gonna be the third capture for team renaissance there actually be uh not having a good game not not the map that uh we were hoping it was going to be for them that's uh proving to be quite simple that renaissance are a better trained team and are working really well together yeah, it was a good pull from them, but again, like Mrs. Metro Molotska, I feel like she kind of just threw it away for them. She hit that mm -hmm. overdrive. If it went through, that would have been mm -hmm. uh, set them up perfectly, but for the second time, it just kind of hit the mm -hmm. wall in front of her, destroying herself. It was actually a little trick uh, for sending the ball down that thing. I don't know if I should be giving that trick away. <laughs> but there is, Great there is secret. There, there is a secret way to make sure that it gets through. Uh, to the other side but um and uh, you just see the way that he just sent it now that should you see that got all the way through uh, he, he did the little uh trick now if you'd watch closely see back you would have understood how it happens there's a little angle that you need to do okay i gave it away i didn't tell you which angle all right the push uh, by renaissance uh not being that successful on the right side. Bidoom uh, trying to pull the flag, but again, on his own. No joy. But Zonic coming through now. Excuse me, I had a bit of a... What's happened? I've lost my screen. Sorry about that. Seems like Metro Moscova is going there. The flag is also going from the other side with 4 SV. He's gonna be getting some uh, support from his friends. Ukraine is wow. my home. Is there to support him. And 4-0 for Renaissance against Team XTB here. It seems like XTB are in a really bad situation in this game. But still it's really uh, not bad because it's just points they are just gathering some points nothing more it's not like an elimination uh, elimination it's mm -hmm. just some points if they lose it's fine they can actually make it up in uh, other games so can you give me um a bit of information because this is the first ranking uh part of a tournament that i've been part of how does it work what are we talking so how many uh matches will each team be having before it actually does make a difference 
Well, about the matches, to be honest, I really don't know, but uh, I I think I have some information about how the thing, how this goes. Like, um, well, if you go to the esports uh, website, you will see that in each uh, bracket there is like four players, uh, four teams. I mean, those four teams are gonna fight uh, to earn points, and uh, the two teams with the highest uh, in each group. There's gonna be four teams in uh, four teams in each group. The uh, the best two performing teams and the teams that have the highest points uh, in uh, the two teams that have the highest points in each group are gonna be qualifying to the next one. And uh, I mean, like it's it's just gonna be ending as the the to the those teams are just gonna be qualifying to play in the uh, major rankings because this is just the qualifiers. This is the group mm -hmm. stage that we're going to be playing in. All right? Is that right, Steno? Can you confirm that? Yeah, I believe so. Sounds right to me. Yeah, like, they will just be playing and qualifying first. There's just it's something like, um, um, you know, like a knockout, but it's not a, typically a knockout from one game. It's just um, they're going to be collecting, um, collecting points. And then we'll see who's going to be going on to the next stage. That's the ranking. Uh, ranking stage because we're right now in the group stage at uh, the qualifier stage and then we're gonna be doing the same as we did in the summer major I think meanwhile while I was explaining the game just finishes 4-1 for a team Runescence and uh, seems like the score is 3-0 for team Runescence against XTB yeah I feel like in that last round Re uh, Renaissance proved that they're the far superior team they're better than xtb a uh, kind of a dominant lead even with the way they're performing they had good teamwork they had good pushes uh i haven't been liking xtb's overdrive selection i feel like they use it a little early sometimes in the wrong times uh i so i do feel like especially in sandal it kind of shows more that renaissance is uh, more prepared to play a game here Well, I do think the same as well, Steno, and um, I don't know, it seems like there is no chance that XDB is just going to um, get out of this with uh, any points to me, to be honest. Uh, at the start of the round in Highland, I thought that it was going really equal, but somehow, yeah, it's maybe just uh, Raiwa being DC is the issue that happened to them that made them uh, maybe um, so confused or... It, it weakened them a little bit. Uh, but anyway, we see Bedwin just secures the overdrive for uh, XTB here. They still got that, the, the overdrive in the overdrive box in the last uh, round, but still they lost it anyway with a score of 4 to 1. But we'll see what happens in this round. This is going to be the last round for today's match. And uh, the next matches that we're going to be streaming is going to be the 25th. So basically, three days from now. Can I just, uh, I feel that you're not giving uh, Renaissance uh, the actual, uh, you know, they're playing well. They made the adjustments and basically the first round was uh, like a, a feeling out kind of match. Like in a boxing boxing match, you have the first couple of rounds where they're just like, all right, how, how are they reacting to different things? And I think Renaissance were just clearly, they made the readjustments and... Um, and that's why they've been dominating. And maybe there's just a better communication uh, through, you know, through uh, through the VC. Yeah, like exactly what you're talking about. I feel like that communication is not really there. I see the selection when uh, he tried to pull that flag there for XTB. He just headed to three of the enemy players instead of trying to pull it back to his teammate. So I feel mm -hmm. like they need to kind of work a little more together, coordinate a little better, and that's how they're going to pull some flags. It really is uh, key for, to, 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 first of all, just to get the flag and then manage to get it back to the base. Mr. Banana sliding in to take the OD, but oh no, that was a well-timed uh, OD by Mrs. Uh, Metromobatka. But kind of a little bit to waste because... Mm -hmm. Use that overdrive, but they, it was too late. They were still able to take that uh, OD box. Banana was able to take it, and they're just mm -hmm. back to respawn with full HP. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, the timing with ODs is everything. And 
I think that comes through experience and also listening to your, your teammates. Like, where are you? You know, are you on the right side? Where, who, you know, where are the people on the map? And it's it's really key just to have small, short words, left, right, middle, ear, back. You know, it just um, just gives that team support and knowing where each person is on the on the map really does uh, give you more confidence, but also gives more support. Exactly. Like just a tip to help with that. Um, whenever you see your teammate pushing up, trying to grab a flag, you should let them know I'm um, behind you, pull behind, pull right, pull through middle because they're kind of focusing on what's in front of them. So just with some of those communications, you can uh, help your teammate pull that flag. We see Banana. He's holding that flag. It's all the way in their base. Metro Vasca can snipe Ooh. them and maybe they return gets, this. Gets the return. That was a nice return. So close to being capped. Yeah, amazing return by Metro Moscova there. And uh, the OD box is dropping right now. It seems like XTB has the advantage in this one. And uh, CA is going and try to take this oh, one. Oh, but it oh, seems oh, like, oh. oh no, Juicy just secured that overdrive and uh, used his own overdrive. This is going to be a push for Team Renaissance. Again, this going as three man stack. Mr. Banana going on there with oh no, Juicy. He has his overdrive. He's going, he's healing himself, he's healing his teammates. But he's taking a lot of damage from Bedouin. Still, the flag is going on the other side in the middle of the map. Ukraine is my home. He's going to return the flag. And oh no, Juicy is going to secure that capture. That's the first capture for Team Renaissance in the last round of this game. Yeah, and 4SV uh, got the flag. That's also... That was easily taken out. But he's now been uh, surrounded by Zank and Mrs. Uh, Moskova. But... No, that's uh, going to be a return. And uh, Team XTB have got possibly the first cap, unless, 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 nope, nobody. Yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed how CA was able to pull that flag out, pull it to the mm -hmm. middle. Good capture from him. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, uh, oh, no, Juicy has got his OD, but surrounded. Can he get away? It looks like it, and oh, somebody's respawning right close to him, but he sees that Zoink being chased down, but manages to dodge uh, a direct hit for the first one, but can he make it? I think it's going to be a cap, pushing, pushing through, pushing through, all the way. And he's done it again, he's done that twice now, just uh, using his overdrive, getting around, getting away, low hp his teammates have been helping them they've been doing mm -hmm. good they've been pulling that flag uh, really coordinated yeah it's uh od is being grabbed by mr banana he's just uh been taken out but yeah so uh renaissance proving it's not over yet let's go it's true it's, but it's, it's 2-1 uh xtb can push forward uh, and regain it. I see a couple of stars uh, for the XTB team. So they might be an opportunity to pull, but they're uh, not being used as of yet. Oh, nice, Juicy has uh, got the flag again. I think man of the match uh, definitely going to Oh No Juicy, especially on this map. <laughs> yeah, I agree. He has been pulling the flags for them. Yeah, I do agree. Is the same. Uh, it seems like um, he has doing he has been doing a great job, and also I would like to point out on Metro Moskova's uh, good uh, good performance on the on XTB's team as well. Like that flag return is just so amazing that we have seen. He was returning with an Ares actually, like he imagine walking for with an Ares from the red base to the blue base, and you return the flag. He's been doing that quite a bit. I always see him when he spawns in. He kind of pushes on to the left side or in the middle. We see Juicy doing it again. He's taking the flag around. He's gotten stuck this time. Metro Moskva. Oh! Way. Ukraine but is not over. To wow. Yeah. Oh, and they're going to grab again. Can they get the cap? They're being chased down. It's, oh, can Juicy come and sneak it? He is? Yeah. Oh! That That's... new update, that new update, man, is is basically doing a lot of uh, a lot of stuff for teams right now. Mm -hmm. They just need to get the return to secure the third uh, flag. Uh, oh, he's dropping the flag, letting uh, CJ hold that so he can be better use up front. 
They do. Yeah. He's got his OD, uh, but no juicy. With so little HP left, managing to take that. Uh, well, look, look at the pressure. Look at the pressure. Look at how pressured are Team XTP in their base. Like, mm -hmm. it seems like um, Team uh, Renaissance have uh, full control over the map, even though their their flag is in the base. And that's the first standoff I think we have here. Um, even though it seems like they are just having full control over the map e uh, with like surrounding that surrounding team XTB in their base. Yeah, yeah. no TC is just sorry, sorry, uh, Steno, go, go ahead. I was gonna say, CJ have been playing this pretty well. We see a, a push from them, two ODs to try to defend that flag, but there's still three players alive two now but the pressure from renaissance is really good because they are in the lead is xtb who needs to go and push up for that return and we've mostly just seen them in their base well it's i think they've got to defend otherwise it's going to be a guaranteed cap so they're trying to make sure that they can uh, equalize so it's important that they don't lose that flag and i think that's maybe one of the reasons but here they are right now two pushing forward it's actually um Renaissance on the back foot, but just one player. So that's going to easily be uh, stopped. And now they're going to go on the offensive again. Ukraine on his own, but he's been attacked by two previous. This could be the return. Uh, oh, 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 no. Taken out. That was a risky, uh, risky uh, moment there for... Team XTB, but uh, managed to get away with it. But no, this this could be the the cap, uh, the return, should I say? Almost, almost. No. All right. One minute twenty left on the clock. Important. Yeah, and it XTB. seems like it's uh it's taking a lot of time. Like uh, <laughs> might be the longest standoff in this game at the moment. Mm-hmm. And right now it's two to one for Renaissance and team uh, XTB are actually fighting for making this at least at least a tie here. But it seems like Mr. Banana going there, Bedwin and Zonic uh, cleared the base for him. Ukraine is my home. Is going right now. Is he gonna use the overdrive? He did use the overdrive, but he oh, gets taken sad. out. Yeah, he take, takes yeah. out himself. Yeah, that's the uh, risk with that Crusader OD. Especially up close, and especially because if you tip in, and that's what I think what happened, because no damage was taken uh, by the other team, and so if you tip just a little bit, it just um, you know bye bye yourself, and uh, maybe cause a little bit of freeze to the other team, but that's all it seemed to do there. Yeah, we got twenty seconds left. I think this is pretty chalked. We see banana. Oh, he oh, has his oh, bike oh, oh. Return, return. Return, can they get the cap? Is it going to be 3-1 or is it going to be 2-1? Stunned right now. It's going to be, I think it's going to be the 3-1. No, it's going oh. to be the 2-1. Yeah, 2-1. Yeah. 2-1 right now. F4, yeah. Either way, they'll take it. it. Yep. It would not really matter that much. Yeah, but so anyway. Four games, four games to uh, zero. Yeah, oh, four is zero. Well, done. well, it seems like it's over for this match. Um, we conclude this match as a win for Runescence against Team XTB with a score of four to zero. Um, I think it was a good match to watch, actually, especially the first uh, first first round specifically, uh, because that round I felt like both of the teams got equal powers uh, and they were playing basically really well. But the issue that happened with the, one of the players from XTB that uh, keep, kept on going for two or three rounds, it basically uh, made them feel unstable a little bit and made them um, kind of, you know, not sure what to do or confused a little bit. That affected them and affected them, their performance and affected their gameplay as well. So uh, it's... it's I, I, all... I, think, I think you're just finding excuses for them, to be honest. Uh, uh, I, I just, I just, I mean, I, I disagree. Renaissance are a better team. I don't think that one thing was enough to. I'm, I'm sorry to disagree with you, but it's. I don't think it was just that. Maybe, because, maybe, maybe, yeah. I, like maybe it's uh, basically. Well, well, the, 
We'll agree to disagree. We'll agree yeah, to disagree. Yeah, we'll yeah. agree to disagree. Okay. Well, so, yeah. Do you want to say anything, Steno, before we uh, finish this live stream? Yeah, it was a good game. The first two rounds in Highland were pretty competitive, pretty close. We saw a lot of good gameplay, but Re Renaissance really kind of took over and dominated in the Sandal map. So all the points will be going to them. Congratulations to them and well played to both of the teams. Just uh, one question about the points. How many points for um, Renaissance will they gather through this uh, victory? I think two points, maybe. Mm -hmm. Two points or four points, one of those. Well, 2 4 is nice, especially when the other team have a zero. So, yeah, well done to them. Yep. Well, so, guys, this is the point where we are going to be concluding this live stream. We want to thank you for watching and thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to join us to, at the 25th of this month, 25th of August, for uh, witnessing the next uh, matches that's going to be played in this group stage again. Uh, we hope you had fun today and we're going to be see uh, the next live stream. Goodbye, everyone. Happy days.